Good evening and welcome. I'm Sunetra Chaudhary and tonight at 10 we pay tribute to the genius of MF Hussain. Over the next hour you'll see his last televised interview and you'll hear from the people who have studied and followed his work, other artists and those that inspired Hussain like actress Madhuri Dixit. We'll also look at various reactions and stories of other people being hounded out. So the question we are asking, MF Hussain, an artist misunderstood? We'll have uh, many people joining us uh, in the show. We'll have artist Anjali Ila Menon. We'll have author and filmmaker Bikram Singh. So during the course of the show, do send us your tweets at Sunitra C. Was MF Hussain's depiction of Bharat Mata and Hindu gods an artist's viewpoint or a case of excessive liberty? The debate really never took off. But Hussein was condemned long ago, hounded out of his country by coloured cliques and their cry for street justice. His first brush with controversy was in 1947, when he started Indian Arts Avagad movement, but the man who walked bare feet faced his first legal and political trouble with the start of the Ram Mandir movement and the fierce divide it created. Hussein had sketched Hindu deities in the nude in the 1970s. In the 1990s, with the Ram Mandir movement dominating national headlines, his paintings faced the saffron wrath. VHP activists tore into his Bombay apartment in May 1998. From 1996 to 2004, Hussain faced 95 criminal cases. In 2006, he went on a self-imposed exile, fearing that if he ever came back to India, he would be put in jail. Eventually, he became a citizen of Qatar last year. He has apologized. He should convey his apologies to those who have been hurt. His exile and death threats against him continued. The exhibitions that displayed his work were still vandalized. The government of the day insisted they were trying to help him to return, but nothing happened. No court of law had pronounced a judgment, but his works had become part of a flourishing political campaign. Nothing happened. Today, the same politicians ensured they made the right political noises. Condole his uh, death and his uh, last rite should be allowed to be performed in India. I don't understand that they have to do love from their The controversy over MF Hussain's works was perhaps the most appropriate opportunity to settle the dispute between artistic expression and expression of social hurt. Instead, the politicians colored themselves in black. The civil society responded with artful silence. Now, Emma Hussain, a Padma Shri awardee, has died in exile. That's a shame. But our failure to settle a dispute through debate is perhaps India not shining. In Delhi, Rahul Shivastha for NDTV. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.